and welcome to MSPN's coverage of Marvel Fubica. We're here for a brand new multi-video tournament. Glad to have you here for our first of three videos. This is Marvel Golf as we'll begin our 16-team tournament with this very interesting new aspect and a very uh, different event here for our first event of the three videos. We'll have uh, today's video which will begin the uh, left side of our bracket will be completed and then our second video will continue on, and we'll go to our third and final video, which will be uh, the finale, as you see, the Marble Golf Course. And now on the screen, the 2019 team statistics. You've got eight different countries with two championships and a uh, ton of countries that have won themselves at least one tournament here in 2019. Uh, so those are the teams that have won this year, and now we'll have a look at the teams that are competing today. And they are Mexico, Italy, India, and Argentina. And then the United States will take on Uruguay. And England against the Philippines. That's who we're going to see today. And then the right side of the bracket, which will not compete today, is Pakistan and Portugal. Russia and Colombia. And then Brazil and the Korean Republic. Spain and Chile. Which again, those eight teams that are on the right side of the bracket will not compete in the Marble Golf today. First matchup of the day, though, is Mexico against Italy. Unlike normal golf, where the goal is to have the lowest score, you want to have the highest score here. Five marbles are going to go from I, uh, each country. And we will see who can come up with the most points. That's the goal. Italy in the blue, Mexico in the green. And they make their way towards the course. A few spots in the fives and... One is going to stop just short for Italy of the 8, but they're going to pick up a 15. And they're going to have enough to win that last 5 that made its way in. As you see the replay, Mexico had more of their marbles land in the holes, but they all landed in the lower uh, 5 hole, which only gives them a total of 15 points. So Italy gets a 15 and a 5 to get the 20 to 15 win. They'll move on. Now it's England against the Philippines. Very interesting, unique style for this course. Philippines closer to you on the screen. And then England with less blue, more yellow involved. Everybody missed except for one. England gets one to land in the five. And they're going to win this one by a final of five to nothing. Oh, look at that eight. Came in and out a couple of times. That would have been add-on points for England. And then watch this. Everybody missed. Somehow finding their way... Oh, wow, look at those three in a row nearly went in the eight hole for the Philippines. Instead, they don't score at all, and England is moving on. Our third matchup is India against Argentina. India on the lower portion of the screen. There's an eight for Argentina, a five for India, and that'll be all. Oh, actually... Argentina scored a three as well. So they get the eight and the three for a total of 11. Didn't even see them all the way up at the top of the screen. They were able to score that three and add on some points there to get that win 11 to five. They take out India and the final matchup for today is Uruguay against the United States. U.S. is going to have great viewing for what they hope is a win and advancement in this tournament. They're in the silver. The blue is Uruguay. Last time today, here they go. Uruguay's got five. Uruguay's got eight. The United States only picked up three, and Uruguay wins it by a final of 13 to three. You'll watch at the top of this or the right side of your screen. There's the three for the U.S. Uruguay picked up five on the way in, and they added. Right there, actually with a little bit of help from a U.S. marble, they added those eight points to finish out that win. So Uruguay gets the win. And the quarterfinals of this tournament are set on the left side. As you get to see next video's course, event number two will feature a huge course, absolutely gigantic, in which we will see the marbles travel one just on top of the other. 
where they will not make contact with each other. And we'll have the opportunity uh, in time trials, which we saw provide some very interesting, uh, very interesting racing and very uh, tight competition. We'll see if that continues in our second video in which we'll tackle the right side of the bracket. But until then, I'm Rick O'Shea, and this has been MSPN's coverage of Marble Fubica. Thank you.